We've got an interesting project here. It's something I built several years back and one of my students now is playing with it as an experiment. We have a bicycle that has been bolted into a steel frame. We're using it to spin a generator. Now the way it works, and come around to the back side, we are using the bare rim of the bicycle with no tire, no tube, using the bare rim as a shiv for the V-belt. The V-belt comes up here, engages with the shiv on the alternator, which is a standard Delco Remy 12 volt DC uh, alternator unit. And so as we begin to slowly turn the crank, the wheel of the bicycle turns, and it spins the alternator. This is a very simple design. It uses the weight of the rider to tension the belt, so we don't need a belt tensioning mechanism. The only real tricky part is making sure this is centered so the belt does not slip off. And right now we've got some bungee cords here, which is kind of hokey, but it does work for the time being. Now just to make things technically interesting, we've modified the alternator a bit. We've tapped into the windings of this alternator. It's a three-phase Y-wound unit, so we're bringing out the three hot wires here to a terminal block, which we can then tap off and measure AC if we wish. The red wire here goes to the field winding, so we can control how strongly we energize the field winding of the alternator. And we take any two of the phases off the three-phase power, run that into a bridge rectifier to get DC. If we had another pair of diodes, we could make a three-phase bridge rectifier and rectify it here. Now normally the rectifier is built into the alternator, but we're bypassing that to give us the freedom to actually measure AC if we want to do stuff with AC power instead of DC. So we can run it as a true alternator, not just as a generator. So we have this coming over right now to a data acquisition unit. We're taking that rectified DC signal, running that into a voltage divider here with resistors, and then running that into a data acquisition unit and graphing the results. So go ahead and spin it again. And there we see the graph of voltage over time. Those fluctuations you see are the fluctuations caused by the pedaling. It's not a perfectly consistent speed, and so the voltage is rising and falling a bit as we pedal. That's a fun little project, and we can do more interesting things with this. We can take this later on and connect a voltage regulator to it, where we can use PID control to control how much field excitation we get, and thereby control the output voltage very precisely. Now again, all this is normally done in the alternator using a regulator unit and diodes and everything, but we're doing it here just to explore the concept in more detail, have a little bit of fun, and to demonstrate a fairly simple thing you can build to generate power with your legs.